Spokane Transit's most ambitious project yet is one step closer to becoming a reality tonight. STA Central City Line has been in the making for 15 years. And tonight, the $72 million project is fully funded thanks to a $53 million federal grant. That money will go towards creating a six-mile route and funding the buses that run on it from Brown's addition to Spokane Community College. KXLY Force Taylor Graham is live now to give us an in-depth look at the changes coming to your commute. Taylor? Well, yeah, you're going to have to make an adjustment if you ride the bus and your regular stop is on this new route. The good news is you'll have a couple of years to wrap your head around that because the Central City Line isn't set to debut until 2021. Spokane Transit runs on routine, but it's going to have to make some changes and make some way for its new Central City Line, which just got the green light and $53 million in funding from the Federal Transit Administration. They can just come to the line. They know a bus is coming. If they happen to miss it, it'll be very frequent, very easy to get to work. At its peak, the Central City Line will run every seven minutes, connecting downtown Spokane and Gonzaga, from Brown's Edition all the way to Spokane Community College seven days a week. It's a six-mile stretch aimed at cutting congestion and Spokane's carbon footprint. Well, when you have this kind of bus rapid transit, you're really freeing up a lot of space on the roads because, of course, it takes the place of a single car that someone might be using. With one million riders expected annually from college students to downtown employees, there's a lot riding on this for the city as a whole and for the neighborhoods near the central line. So we think that along the nodes, we're going to see some more housing opportunities crop up. We're going to try to look for places where we can build more um, accessible and affordable housing within three to six blocks of each of these nodes. So it's going to be revitalizing for those neighborhoods. And With an estimated $175 million economic impact over the next 20 years, STA is hoping this change in the routine is worth the 15-year wait. You'll know that it'll always be there. It'll be a ride you can trust. Now, construction on some 30 bus stops will begin this summer, but the majority of construction on the Central Line won't start up until next year. Of course, the Central City Line is expected to be up and running by 2021. Reporting from downtown Spokane tonight, Taylor Graham, KXOY4 News.